Fox and welcome to your morning yoga. While in Maui, I'm recording a 26 minute session for you to get your morning going and to get the juices flowing. I hope you enjoy it and feel free to share it with us. Come to an easy seated position, legs crossed. If that's not in your practice, you can stretch your legs out in front of you. You can sit on something to raise yourself up, a folded blanket, a pillow. Sit erect, breathe in through your nose and then out through your mouth. As you breathe in through your nose, Begin your cat cows. Inhaling, your head goes backward, chest goes forward. Then finally, join me on your hands and knees in tabletop for cat cow. Your knees are under your hips, your hands under your shoulders, and as you inhale, your head goes up and your tail goes up. Exhale. Come to cow. Inhale, and then exhale. Let's do this about five times. Let's take some cat-cow circles. Move any other part or any direction you need to in this position. If you're choosing circles, move first in one direction, then the other. Push back for child's pose. You bring your hands out in front of you or by your side as your head comes down to a block or to the mat. Continuing your breathing. Come back to tabletop and Stretch your right hand out in front of you and your left leg behind you. Let's hold that as we breathe. Knee to elbow, knee to elbow, knee to elbow. Knee to elbow. Flow with your breath. Switch sides. Now your left hand is out in front of you, right leg is behind, hold it. Now bring your knee to elbow and out. Knee to elbow, breathe out. Knee to elbow, breathe out. Come back to tabletop and back to child's pose. Make your arms active here. Come back to tabletop one more time and sit back on your legs for sentry pose. Put your hands on your thighs. Then move quickly to bring your right hand to your left ear. Let gravity stretch out your neck muscles. Switch sides. And release. Let's take some head circles here, moving first to the right. Switch directions. Come up tall on your knees, flip your toes. Go ahead and push back for your first downward facing dog. I think I'm on a little bit of a hill here, but go ahead and walk your foot out, feet out, first one then the other. Take a deep bend in your knees. Stretch your tailbone up, shake your head yes and no, and then finally walk your feet to your hands, meeting me in 
standing forward bend. Fold your arms, let your head hang heavy. Shake your head yes or no, and just breathe. Let release your hands. Come up to a flat back, inhale, and then finally just roll up to standing, vertebra by vertebra, letting your shoulders come down around and back until finally your head follows. Go ahead and shake it out. Inhale, high mountain hands. Exhale, stretch back. Inhale, back to neutral. One more time, inhale up. Bring your hands to heart center, exhale. Breathe. Inhale, high mountain hands. Exhale, swan dive down, standing forward bend. Breathe. Step back first with your right, then your left, coming to your plank pose. This first time, go ahead and just lay down. Knees, chest, chin, hands are by your breastbone. Push up into upward facing dog or baby cobra. And then back to downward facing dog. Five breaths here. Walk your hands to your, your feet to your hands, standing forward bend. Inhale, hands to your knees, flat back, exhale down. Inhale, reverse your swan dive. Hands to heart center, samasitihi. Let's go again. Breathe here. Inhale, high mountain hands. Exhale, swan dive down, standing forward, bend. Inhale to your flat back. Exhale, standing forward, bend. Step back with your right, then your left to your plank position. Let's lower down or lay down. Inhale, cobra, exhale down. Flip your toes, downward facing dog. Five breaths here. Bring your hands to the front of your mat, standing forward bend. Inhale, flat back, exhale, and down. Inhale, reverse your swan dive, high mountain hands. Exhale, hands to heart center, samastitihi, breathe. Inhale, high mountain hands. Exhale, swan dive forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, come down. Inhale, step back with your left foot this time to your plank. Lower down or lay down. Inhale, upward facing dog this time. Exhale, you can go through tabletop to downward facing dog. Breathe. Inhale, look forward. Have your feet meet your hands at the top of your mat. Inhale, upward facing or flat back. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, swan dive up. Hands to heart center, samasthitihi. Breathe. Inhale, high mountain hands, exhale, swan dive down. Inhale, step back with your right, then your left to plank. Lower down, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe.
Inhale, three-legged dog. Bend it, open it up and over. Open up that hip. Exhale, go ahead and step forward. Bring that right foot forward. High lunge, hands in the air. Open up to warrior two. Let that back heel pivot down. Open up the arms. Keep your legs strong here. Don't let that front leg bend in. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Back pain goes down to your leg. Right hand is in the air. Back to warrior two. Inhale, lift up that heel, back to crescent warrior. Inhale, plant your hands down. High lunge with your hands on the ground. Breathe here. Inhale, raise your hands up, high lunge. Inhale, hands down. Go ahead and step back to your plank and move through your chaturanga. Upward facing dog or cobra. Flip your toes, downward facing dog. Walk your hands, your feet to your hands. Standing forward bend. Inhale, flat back. Exhale down. Inhale, reverse your swan dive up. Exhale, hands to heart center, samasiti hi. Inhale, high mountain hands. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, high mountain hands. Exhale, swan dive down, standing forward bend. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, down. Standing forward bend, inhale. Sit back with your left foot, then your right to plank. Just move back to downward facing dog. Breathe. Inhale, left knee to elbow, three-legged dog, exhale. Inhale, knee to elbow. Go ahead and put that front foot through to high lunge. And once you get into your place, bring your hands to the air, breathe. Open up to warrior two, pivot that heel down. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Inhale, swan dive down, then up to high lunge one more time. Notice the difference now, you're warmer, your lunge is deeper and stronger. Open back up to warrior two. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Remember your breath. Inhale, swan dive down. Pivot and step back to plank. Move through your chaturanga. Upward facing or cobra. Flip your toes, downward facing dog. Inhale. Just walk to the front of your mat. Standing forward bend. Inhale, just roll slowly up to standing, 
vertebra by vertebra, letting your shoulders come down around and back, and finally your head. Let's stand, hands are on your hips. We're breathing. Bring your hands to heart center and take a big step with your right foot to the long side of your mat. Wide-legged stance. You can leave your hands at heart center or you can bring them to your hips. Hinge forward slowly from your waist with a flat back, keeping a bend in your leg until you get past parallel. Make the crown of your head point to the ground. Put your hands on the ground, wide-legged forward bend. Breathe here. Go ahead and put your right hand down in the middle under your face. Your left hand reaches toward the sky. Your gaze is toward that left hand. Breathe. Now switch hands, plant your left hand. Your right hand goes up, your gaze goes up. Continuing your breath. Put both hands down. Let's walk them out in front of you and do five, six, seven yogi push-ups. Walk them back, your hands to right under your face. Bring your hands to heart center, bend your knees as we stand up into goddess pose. Breathe. Your pose is, your stance is strong. Stand up, star pose, back to goddess pose. Strong. Star pose, back to goddess. Take some movements to the left and the right, working out those hips. Toe heel your feet in. As you stand up, turn toward the right, pivot toward the right. Triangle pose, bring your right hand down to the block or to your ankle, left hand goes into the air, your legs are straight, your gaze is up toward that left hand, breathe here. Reverse triangle, step your feet forward, turn your back foot so it's also pointing forward and reverse that triangle. Bend forward, both feet are pointing forward. You can put your hands on a block if this is uncomfortable, if the forward bend is not yet accessible to you. You can lift up that left foot. As you stand up, bring your hands to high mountain hands, then to your heart center. Feet it together here in mountain. Inhale up, back bend, just a little. Exhale, come to center. Bring your hands to heart center. Inhale, then exhale. Step back gently with that right foot. Both toes are pointed forward. Hands are in the air. Bring forward. Bring your hands to the ground or to a block. Triangle. Bring your hands to your hips. Hinge up slowly. Bring both feet together. Inhale, your hands are at your heart center, and exhale. As we prepare for our tree, find your gaze. You're gonna balance on the left side first. Some days balance is good, and some days it's not. Bring your right foot above or below your shin, and when you're ready, grow your tree if that's in your practice. Breathe, concentrate on your drishti. Come out the same way you came in, hands. Bring your knee, knee out in front of you, but balance on that foot as you bend forward. Make the knee go behind you. If you fall out, just start over. Inhale, heart center hands. Balance on that other side for tree, balancing on the right foot now. Find your gaze, then grow your tree, if that's in your practice. Even if you use your foot as a tripod on the ground, it strengthens you. Come out the same way you came in. Hands are at center, bring that foot down. Breathe. 
Inhale, high mountain hands. Exhale. Standing forward bend. Bring your hands to the ground. Go ahead and bring your heels together, your knees apart. And this is where we'll do our crow play for this practice. Bring your knees as far as possible, as close to your armpits. And when you're ready in your balance, look out and up as opposed to down and lift one foot then the other. You can also put a block under your head and balance on. Put your head on the block or put a block under your feet to get a little further away from the ground and just stay there. Try about three times, gathering that strength in your arms. And when you're ready, put your feet down. And turn around and meet me with your legs stretched out in front of you for staff pose. Breathe. Then reach forward, bend your knees or use a strap to put the palms of your feet and the soles of your hands together. Then release. Move your left foot out to a 45 degree angle. Put the right foot on the inner thigh, hands up and breathe over, reach for your foot. You can use a strap here if this is not in your practice. Bend your knee and then finally release it up. Right foot at a 45 degree angle, switch. Put the left thigh, foot on the inner thigh. Inhale, hands up. Bend over, reach for that foot and breathe. Release. Go ahead and scoot forward so you can lay down comfortably on your mat. But first, stretch out your back, hug your knees in, sitting up. Boat pose. You can take any variation of boat pose that you need. Your legs can be straight, they can be bent, your arms can be, hands can be on the ground or out in front of you. But when you're ready, tap one foot, then the other. And breathe. One, two, one. Hold it. Inhale, maybe you get a little deeper into this boat pose and finally put your feet down, grab your knees and stretch out your back. Scoot forward now, lay down on your mat. Your legs are bent, your knees are bent, feet are on the ground. Breathe here. Cross the right foot over onto your left thigh for reverse pigeon. Push that right leg away from you. When you're ready, thread your needle, clasping your hands behind your leg, left leg extended. Keep those feet active, meaning pull them back towards you, pull your leg towards you, your feet are active, your shoulders are raised up, and release. Tee out your arms, let your feet and your legs drop to the left side. Your gaze is to the right. Breathe here. Go ahead and release, put your feet back on the ground again. This time bend your left foot and put it on your right thigh. Push it away from you. Breathe here. Spread your needle, clasp your hands behind your right thigh this time. Feet are active, right foot is in the air. Raise your shoulders up as you pull the leg back towards you. Tee out your arms, this time let your legs drop to the right. Gaze is to the left. Breathe here, keeping your shoulders connected to the ground. Bring your legs back to center. Stretch out, hands above your hands, feet and hands stretching in opposite directions. Breathe here, take all this goodness in. Go ahead and give yourself a big hug, bringing your knees into the chest and wind releasing, relieving pose. Go ahead and do some circles with your knees to massage that lower back. And if you're doing circles, make sure you go in both directions. Stretch out, prepare for Shavasana. Let your eyes close. Open your feet, let your feet drop open. Relax your hands. Let your breath come normally and return to normal. 
Breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. If thoughts want to come, let them, but don't let them rush. Notice your breath. Notice how you're feeling. We'll stay here for one minute. You can stay here if you like, otherwise bend your legs, put your feet on the ground, turn over to a fetal position, the left or the right, using your hands as a pillow. When you're ready, use both hands to push up to a safe seat and meet me back in easy pose. Thank you for joining me for your practice today. The queen in me absolutely sees, recognizes, supports, and acknowledges the queen in you. Have a blessed day. Namaste. Mahalo.